Hi, my name is Lauren with House Stuff and MyCarWorks.com. In today's video, I will explain how the throttle position sensor works, also known as the TPS sensor. The throttle position sensor's main function is to inform the ECM what position the throttle plate is in, from idle all the way to full throttle. The TPS sensor is attached directly to the throttle body. If your car still has a throttle cable, the easiest way to locate the TPS sensor is to find the sensor located on the opposite side of the throttle cable mounting location. The TPS slides over the throttle shaft. This causes the TPS to vary its voltage output simultaneously with the angle of the throttle. The computer adjusts the fuel mixture when you accelerate to maintain the proper air-fuel ratio. If your vehicle has an adjustable TPS, it is crucial to set the initial setting. Otherwise, the TPS will send the wrong output throughout the entire range. For most vehicles, the initial setting is 0.5 volts. The most common TPS sensor has only three wires. One is the negative wire, the second is the signal wire, and the third is a power source wire, which is normally 5 volts. The arrangement of the wires varies slightly depending on the manufacturer, but it is easy to locate them by using a digital voltmeter. To locate each wire, probe each one with the ignition switch on. Take note that the electrical connector needs to be connected while performing this test. You may need to insert some paper clips through the connectors to avoid stripping the insulation on the wires. Once you have located the wires, make sure that you have a full 5 volt signal on the power supply wire. Next, attach the negative probe of your voltmeter to the ground wire and the positive to the signal wire. Slowly move the throttle and monitor the voltage increase as you accelerate. It should start around 0.5 volts at idle and end at 5 volts at full throttle. If you find dead spots or voltage spikes at any point of the TPS range, it will indicate that the sensor is defective and it needs to be replaced. You can also test the TPS sensor off the vehicle by setting your voltmeter to the ohm setting. Connect the positive probe to the signal wire and the negative probe to the ground wire and turn the TPS sensor using a flat screwdriver. You should have a smooth resistance increase as you rotate the sensor. Any dead spots indicate a defective sensor. Remember to visit our online store. We have several voltmeters at very low prices available in our tool section. The link to our online store is located at the top of our channel. You can also access it directly at jlsporttrucksonline.com.